I charged my dead battery for exactly 10 minutes and it's still flashing red, so we'll see how far we get with this. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and in today's video, I want to discuss, add my thoughts, contribute to the conversation around booktube, ableism, and cancel culture that's been happening recently. If you are not aware of what's happened, essentially Caleb Joseph released a video talking about all of the Fault in Our Stars type cichlid movies that were made in the last couple of years, and basically he talked about how badly the films were made with a lot of dark humor involved. Many people on book Twitter, some disabled people included, found this to be extremely offensive, problematic, and ableist, and it ultimately led to a slew of people on Twitter calling out Caleb, writing some very nasty things, and from what it looks like, Caleb deleting or privating his Twitter account. Disclaimer, I am not disabled and I don't know any of these people personally. I have communicated with Caleb a little bit and I'm a fan of his content. I think he's very hilarious and often has a lot of very insightful things to say. So in this video, I'm not going to tell you whether or not you should find his video ableist. You can watch it yourself. Personally, I didn't. I actually thought the point of his video was to make some very, I thought, insightful points about how able-bodied writers often fetishize terminal illness for the sake of their romantic plots. Again, I'm not disabled, so perhaps some of his jokes people found to be ableist. Some people were saying the whole video was ableist because he was not allowing for a genre to exist in which many different illnesses are portrayed on screen or in books. I didn't really feel like that was what he was saying. I felt like he was saying the quality of these films are trash. He actually didn't even talk about the books at all. He was just talking about the films, particularly the acting, the dialogue, etc. and the way that they all have the same plot. Now some people interpreted that as he doesn't think multiple books about illness should exist. What I understood from that was the films all follow this formulaic process by which two bland characters, usually white and straight, meet, fall in love, and then the sick one, usually a woman, decides she would rather die because of this love life than fight for her own survival. That's what I understood him to be saying not calling out or making fun of sick people, but rather calling out able-bodied writers for fetishizing dying and using it as a plot device to fuel a steamy illicit romance. That said, you can go watch his video and decide for yourself. Like I said, some disabled people were deeply hurt by it, and so because I'm not disabled, I don't feel like I can necessarily comment whether it is or isn't ableist. Like I said, I didn't view it that way, but you should go watch it and decide for yourself. What I actually want to do in this video is talk about the reaction to the controversy and the video, because I am honestly kind of disgusted by the things that people were saying about Caleb. And I don't say this as like a fan of his defending him. I say this as a woman in her late 20s looking at a bunch of people my age bullying a teenager. Not everyone that responded was my age, but there were some people who are pushing 30 like me. <laughs> Basically just on Caleb and I'm pretty sure he's 18 or 19. So it's just unacceptable. Like, I'm sorry, but it doesn't matter how problematic you think someone is. You have a responsibility as an adult to not be a dick. The extent to which book Twitter responded to him was in my view, just blatant bullying. It was a large mass of people ganging up on someone because they didn't like what he said and calling him trash, using a whole bunch of swear words to describe what he should do. And I'm just honestly like, take this advice from your booktube auntie. You know, here's me, 26 years old. I'm a lot older than a lot of the people in the booktube community. I mean, we're talking mostly about young adult books, so a lot of people are young adults, and I love that, and I love being <laughs> kind of like the booktube auntie. But like, hear this from me. It does not matter how problematic you think someone is. Offer them human dignity. Like, I'm saying this as a queer woman who exists in a very conservative family. I did a degree in theology at a Christian institution like very much my world is in the conservative Christian bubble and I'm out and I'm proud and it's fine. But like, do you think that I haven't had disgusting homophobic things said to me? Like I have, but that does not give me the right to turn around and say, f off you nasty piece of sh like, especially if they're young and their intent is pure. Like, if somebody just is ignorant and they've had no opportunity to grow, like, how how dare you respond that way? Like, the world does not change unless you give people the opportunity to grow. And if you don't give people the opportunity to grow, then what you're saying is that you never needed one either. And if that's the case, check your privilege because you did. Somebody along the way allowed you to grow too. So what I really want to say is booktube, book Twitter, book community online. Can we not take a step back and have 
have a growth mindset. I just, I'm so frustrated with the way somebody makes a mistake and instantly that person is shamed, the door is locked to them forever, people say cancel them, tell them to get the F out. Like it's just, it's just wrong. And I know people say cancel culture is accountability culture, but I don't believe that. There is a big difference between, hey, I think you did something that is not cool. I don't know if you're aware of this, but this is how your words can be perceived. Have you heard about this? Let's talk about it. Let's grow. Especially if you're not someone in that minority. And so it's not a traumatic thing for you to speak about it. If you're an ally calling someone out, give them the opportunity to grow that somebody gave you. Educate, don't hate. I understand canceling someone if they're repeatedly terrible and they've been given chance after chance and they don't repent, they don't apologize and they just think that there's nothing wrong or they understand that there's something wrong and they don't care, fine, cancel them. But that that is a last step after after we offer compassion and education and growth and under no circumstances does that involve ganging up en masse against a kid to say things about their character. Like this is not what booktube is about. It's a community to share, to grow, to bond, it honestly makes me question whether I wanna be a part of a community like this. Now, I understand a lot of people that reacted as well were young, and so it's not all just a case of grown-ups bullying a teenager, and obviously some people were deeply offended by this video. But that said, I still feel like the response should be just to offer offer growth, offer, offer compassion. I feel like we are so lacking in compassion when somebody says something ignorant, and it makes people afraid to speak. And I understand that we're all trying to do better and we're all trying to grow and we want to call out things that are deeply hurtful. But I feel like there's a way to do that, which is actually going to make a bigger difference in the long run. There was one person on Twitter who I think is disabled herself and she made a kind of long post about the things that were hurtful and provided quotes from the video. And I feel like that is a better example. Like I don't agree with everything she said, but there was no vitriol in her commentary. There was just this is the video, this is why I was hurt by it, this is what I don't like to see. That is a fine response. The plethora of people telling Caleb to F off or get effed or is a piece of garbage, is a dick, all of this, it's just bullying. I'm sorry to tell you this, but it's cyberbullying. It doesn't matter how misguided or ignorant or hurtful you think someone is, responding en masse with vitriolic hateful comments, it's just bullying. Whew, rent done. <laughs> Again, I'm not disabled, but I have my own experiences, like I said, being queer in a conservative Christian bubble. And there are definitely some people that I would love to say are trash, but I don't believe that they are trash. I think some people have trash views, but I think that stooping to that level and just dismissing them and calling them garbage is just as problematic and hateful. Things don't change unless we give people an opportunity to change. The better option is to help them understand where you're coming from. Again, I understand that if you're from a marginalized group, sometimes that's too hard and it's not your job to educate people. That's fine, you don't need to. But if you are an ally in particular, it's not your job to be enraged on behalf of marginalized people. It's not your job to bully people because you think they're marginalizing someone, it's your job to offer them the same grace and dignity that somebody once offered you and to educate them and to help them do better in a way that's gentle and compassionate. Okay, my battery didn't die. Whew. Rant over. <laughs> All that to say, do leave me your comments below. Let me know what you thought of this situation. Keep it polite or you will be deleted. Make sure you give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Like I said, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't. If you like my bookish songs and want to help me get them on streaming platforms such as Spotify and Apple Music, I will leave a link to my Buy Me A Coffee page below. All the donations go to helping me afford to put my music up on streaming platforms. So if there's songs of mine that aren't up that you'd like to see there, donations are much appreciated. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.